Cynthia Ruth I Sprague <laughs> is joining us, and you've got an event coming up at Heritage Wine Cellars on Saturday the 22nd. Welcome, Ruth. Yes, I'm doing it with my dear friend Stevie T. He's another local medium. He's the Lake Erie medium. Uh -huh. I'm the rock and roll medium. He's right. the Lake Erie medium. I so. love it. Talk a little bit about how you got that name, the rock and roll medium. Oh, it's just, it, it's a tag that's stuck from Rocket. Yeah. It's from Mojo and AC. Yeah. Mojo's actually responsible for it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I've basically been the rock and roll medium for I don't know how many years now with that. those guys. And it just got to the point where everybody was identifying me as the rock and roll medium. Mm -hmm. Whenever I was out, it's like, you're the rock and roll medium. I know your voice. You talk to my husband. I'm like, I hope it was good. <laughs> <laughs> really hope just it was good, Just the messenger. Yep, yep, when did just... you first realize that you had a gift for this? Five years old. Mm -hmm. And how, yeah. how did that happen for you? I woke up in the middle of the night and I, had, I saw the, this angel and this guy in a black suit standing at the foot of my bed little kid, I'm covering my head. I don't know what this is, but it didn't feel threatening to me. I wasn't scared. Talked to mom about it, and she, like, kind of bit her lip, and I was like, oh, that's mom's signal for something. We're going to have to have a talk. <laughs> and uh, she told me that this runs in the family mm -hmm. and that everything is, you know, she's going to take me. We're going to have a talk with great-grandma. All women in our family have this oh gift. My so how did you cultivate that as you wow. grew up? Uh, great grandma was a big help with that. She told told me, and we were kind of a member of a secret club, but not everybody likes our club. Uh -huh. She was Greek Catholic. I was raised Roman Catholic, mm -hmm. and I will tell you, I have a good God base, but I've got this Heinz fifty seven belief system. Everybody can believe <laughs> what they want to believe as long as you know it works for them. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, but then after that, when I when I got a little older, it came back because I was told we can't believe in that. We can't have that out in public kind of thing. My dad said, we don't believe in that crystal ball stuff. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so uh, as I got older, I had teachers. I kind of started going and I got connected with a spiritualist church and I had a really good teacher there. And then I had some other teachers uh, that were like, well, they were Lilydale mediums and a couple other mediums on the side there kind of. And I just learned from everybody. Mm -hmm. And it came back, it came back hard, it came back strong. I had to do this, I had to mm. share my gift. Mm. There was no squishing in it at a certain point, and it's like, all right, I'm doing this. Here it is, might as and well embrace it. It yeah. does help a lot of people. Yeah. So when you meet with a client, do you see things, do you hear things, or do you feel? A little bit of, a, of oh. I have a combination. Every medium works differently. Mm -hmm. uh, I hear spirit, I see spirit, I can identify people. Um, they're not real good at giving me like full names or whatever, <laughs> but you know, we try. They're not on speed dial like a lot of people want to sit down and a reading. Well, I was hoping to hear from so-and-so. Well, they're not on speed dial. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work. Like so it, when they come through, they come through. I get a very mixed bag of people that come through for folks mm -hmm. in my readings. Mm -hmm. And I try to make them fun. I keep them light. And no legit ethical medium will ever tell you or should ever tell you anything horrible that's going mm -hmm. on. And they shouldn't be charging you to, like, remove a family curse. Mm. I had a situation like that mm -hmm. once. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so at, yeah. at this event coming up on Saturday <laughs> yeah. uh, at the Heritage Wine Cellar, yes. uh, talk about what that's going to be about. Oh, and that's going to be a blast. Um, the, the girl that's in charge of it, the promotions manager out there, Caitlin Shuey, she's amazing. Um, they, they put together a psychic night. So it's going to be a harvest dinner. Mm. It's going to be a gallery reading, which a gallery reading is basically the mediums, we're standing in the whole room and we're going to read the whole room. Mm -hmm. We're going to give messages mm -hmm. to people in the room. And when you have a gallery reading too, that, that, that message can actually resonate with more than one person okay. in the room too. So, and then we're going to do some private readings and then we're going to go home and drink some wine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it all from start to finish, Ruth. It sounds yeah. fantastic. Oh, and again, that is at Heritage Wine Cellars this coming Saturday, yes. and you can contact the winery about some ticket information. Right. And then we've got, I've got Cauldron and Thorn tomorrow. Every okay. Thursday, I'm Every there Thursday. doing readings. Uh, we're planning on expanding that. I'm going to be doing some classes with them. We're working on that. Great. Um, and rock it on Halloween morning, all 7 right. o'clock. Terrific. Thanks for being here. Ruth, we oh, appreciate it. Thank nice you. To meet you. <laughs> I, I so appreciate you guys having yeah, me on too. Pleasure. This is such a such a blast. This yeah. is so 